Good morning and welcome back to the channel. It's November 12th and winter has come early to Western New York. And sometimes I think to myself, why am I doing this? So what the heck, the sun's coming up. And I said, I'm gonna launch a drone. That's, to my opinion, that's the best view. We have at least six to eight inches outside. The temperature is 22 degrees. It feels like 12 degrees. Wind is out of the northwest. Uh, I always show you a first, well, for the last couple of years, I've been showing you a first snow video. A couple things different. This year is my dog isn't in my mudroom to greet me. She's usually here. Uh, although she's here in spirit. Awesome picture by my niece, Carolyn. I'm gonna show you a little, some, some different things this year as we start the video. Um, what apparel, some of you who don't live in the north or in winter snow areas, around the world or some of you who live in the south or some of you who do live in winter areas but aren't sure what to wear have just moved there uh, i <laughs> like probably most things uh people do on youtube they're they're obsessive or overkill um i what i'm using this morning as you can see the conditions outside i'm gonna wear my klein uh, boots, which I really bought for snowmobiling, which I never, which I never purchased a snowmobile. But I'm, these are my climb boots. They can be used for snowmobiling, ATVing, or working outside, whatever conditions you want. They are excellent. So I show you how I put those on. Those things where you'd laugh at Velcro sneakers when you're young, but when you're older, you appreciate them more. So thanks to my apparel manager, John. This has a cam that tightens wire around your boot. Instead of laces, and it also has one on the side. They are excellent extremely warm they're stiff maybe uh i have driven the truck with these boots on during the winter during storms when i had to go to work and also when i'm riding um my feet have never gotten cold chad at pioneer motorsports along with jen obviously ken in peril department but chan chad is a big fan one of the owners, Pioneer Motorsports, is a big fan of Klein, and anything that I've purchased from Klein has been uh, high quality. My feet have never gotten cold in these boots. So let's go up high. Can Am BRP has excellent Skidoo apparel. They really got to work on their AT of ATV apparel. Their Skidoo stuff is excellent, but I'm wearing actually a Carhartt shirt collared shirt pullover shirt polaris zip up i don't know what you would call this uh a, a zip up sweatshirt almost like an actually it is very much like an under armor type of material and then i'm wearing my skidoo jacket <laughs> again from pioneer motorsports I've had this two years or more. He has a spot for my phone. I have, this is a mix match, but I really don't care because the stuff is excellent. My lightweight, my lightweight Polaris gloves that Jen talked me into, they're excellent. Even for riding in the fall, spring, they're just great gloves. I carry them with me with the winter because they're thin and lightweight 
and uh, they're comfortable to wear while you're driving in a car during the winter. Excellent. So I use these because I'm going to work up a little bit of a sweat. My Polaris hat, which no one wanted me to buy, but this is my favorite winter hat. It's lightweight. And again, I started wearing this in the fall and the spring just because I don't have a lot of hair on my head, as you know, and I'm susceptible to sinus issues. So this is what I'm going to wear to start my winter cleanup the first of the year. And uh, we'll take you into the garage and then outside. Give you a brief tour. What do we have here? So. So I usually forget to install my strobe flasher on the tractor by the first snowfall, but. Uh, This year I'm ready. It's dark enough outside. It's about 10 after 6 where I think you'll be able to see how that works. Rearrange the equipment or my off-road equipment in the garage in order to move the tractor inside. One thing that's key to this equipment in my opinion, and I'm not sure if they sell these with the reorganization of Sears and Craftsman, but my diehard charger which I can mon monitor on my phone via Wi-Fi any place that I am it's connected to Wi-Fi and um, it is it's maintaining the battery and I can show you this how it's set up on my phone but that's key if you have ATVs off-road equipment tractors any small engines with a battery even cars uh, so this tractor is set to go this snowblower has been around for a long time. It's John Deere's 59 inch snowblower. Um, I wish it was a little wider. It doesn't throw the snow quite as far as other brands. Very heavily made. And let me tell you, 18 years that I've had it, it's held up extremely well and it's done the job. It's mounted on my tractor's three point hitch. The battery is charged on this tractor. I charged it yesterday. Um, it comes up to charge very fast even on its own when you run it, but it has sat for weeks because I haven't been cutting the lawn and the lawn's been too wet or my property even to run it across the property. Very wet fall. The oil has changed on the tractor. My hydraulic hoses are, uh, are connected and out of, way, out of the way of the tires. Uh, pins and the three-point hitch looks good. I usually break one of these off early in the season and then I debate changing them the bolts. So I got to meet someone, my niece at 745, to look at a project with her. Let's, uh, let's start this thing up and start shoveling and blowing snow. The multi-function LED strobe light on top of the tractor. overkill don't tell my wife my wife is very smart she already knows it's overkill we'll go over the interior of the tractor just real quick they've already done a video on the controls in the tractor but let me start it up let the glow plug heat up a little bit it's full of fuel eight hours since my oil change open the rack drawer let's hit my work lights on the machine Maybe six inches of snow, seven inches of snow. You can see, well, I'll show you my neighbor's property. I do not set the auto throttle on. That's dangerous when you're working around vehicles. I have the motion control set to it will stop very quickly. I do use, I do use a load match. That's really helpful. Uh, and not for keeping the engine from stalling when you're moving snow. So I am going to run it with a load match. That's my PTO in and out. Rear lights are on. So let's pull, I'm going to mount the camera, pull this outside. And here is my camera mount.
even though this is it's 22 degrees out, this is does seem like a heavy wet or snow. It's probably pushing close to eight inches. Um, last year we did receive a lot of snow. I'm going to quickly shovel off the side wet, quickly shovel in front of the garage doors and the stoop. And then uh, I may clean off my vehicles and then start snow blowing. I'm going to leave this camera running. Not a blizzard by any means, but wanted to show you how deep the snow is. <laughs> and how deep it is up here. November 12th. We left the pumpkin up there. That I'm in charge of pumpkins around the house. I like to shovel the snow a little bit away from the first step because I don't want to hit it with the snow blower and chip it i think 5,000 pounds the weight of the tractor and the blower i think something's going to get See, the snow is sticking to the shovel. It tells you, obviously, that it's wet. So at 54 years old, this is exercise. If you would have told me when I was lifting weights in the gym in my 20s and 30s, or even in my teens that this would be exercise, I would have laughed at you. And sometimes I think to myself, why am I doing this? like most of my friends and uh, relatives, family members, they have someone plow their driveway. But I'm probably a little crazy, I still like to do it myself, even though I don't have to. I was up at 5.30 this morning. <laughs> Wow, I actually stuck it in the snow. I was up at 5.30 this morning. Had my clothes laid out, which I usually do when I ride or have to catch a plane. Again, this is a tight area. I try to get it as neat as possible. The snow blower, even a back blade's not going to get in this close. And I don't want to bang it on a morning where I'm tired. A little slow to respond. I don't want to bang a back blade off my garage door or Bang a back blade off my garage door or uh, or off the stone wall. Okay? Should probably show you that. 
There are people who love to shovel snow and I'm sure they have videos on it. I don't know if I like to do it, but uh, I do it. Now, <clears throat> one thing that's essential is letting the cab heat up. I'm gonna turn down the heater a little bit. Letting, well, I'll leave it on high. Letting the cab warm up because it defrosts and defogs my windows and I have to adjust the vents. Uh, I have to adjust the vents to blow them on glass. So I have to change the settings, just rotate these vents so they're blowing warm air on the glass. That seems to work. The first snow blow is usually awkward because I don't remember what type of pattern I set up and uh, just tends to be a little awkward. I have another camera set up on the hood of the truck. I gotta make sure that I don't, I don't blow snow on that camera. I don't know if I like the way the chute's adjusted. The snow blower is in float position. And I'm not gonna take any long runs with the snow blower. I'm gonna try to keep it close to the tripod mount. Keep it close to the tripod mount. GoPro. Now I'm gonna back up. I have to pull up on that PTO. I know a lot of you are upset with me because there's ways to program that out so it doesn't shut off when I go in reverse. It's just something I haven't gotten around to and I don't know that I want to do it. Okay. We're on float again. Let's pick this thing up. So now we're at about 2600 RPM. The design of this snowblower is old that's on the front of this tractor. I think it's still relevant. It doesn't throw the snow quite as far as the other brands, uh, but it gets the job done, no doubt about it. And uh, there is a ton of municipalities that have these blowers, schools, towns, a ton of them. Hopefully I'm not, I didn't get snow on the lens of that other camera. But I'm just gonna try to do this in stages, give you a different look, because I know you've seen this many times. Of you who don't know tractors, this is a John Deere with a 46 horsepower Yanmar engine. I want to hit the new truck. And she, uh, this engine, these Yanmars are good engines. Someone who I follow on YouTube, Andrew Camerata, if you're in He's a one-man show, site contractor, property maintenance person, has a killer channel. He's probably gonna be a million viewers in a year, uh, probably two years, but he does an excellent job editing his videos and is a, is a good contractor and does a funny video in his own way and very, I'm jealous, it's a hell of a welder. him up. I don't remember. Sorry about that guys. He has snow plowing videos. Uh, other videos on repairing his equipment that are, are excellent. This is kind of a sloppy pattern. Now you hear the you hear the tractor loading up and you'll see it on the other camera when I edit it. There's a pile of wet snow in front of 
front of the auger. And I, the tractor actually tilted. Remember, my rear tires are wider than my front tires. And it probably tilted because there's a little drift here and also some of my snow isn't making it to the edge of my property. easier she does let's kick this back up I don't need I don't need 2600 rpm to uh, push the snow this area isn't that bad okay one more cleanup push here snowman making snow of 
the changeover, the amount of time it takes to change over. This was a bad setup, but I'm stuck with it. I should have started at the truck. Hopefully that lens is clean. I didn't hit it with snow. And sometimes I'll come home for lunch and clean this up when there's no cars in the driveway. But I don't like this. I should have started by the truck, blown everything to the right and forward of my daughter's car and I didn't. Now I'm suffering with it. Might have to redo some areas. I don't want to blow snow on the trailer. And if this was a lighter snow, I'm going to redo this. Sorry. Sorry, viewers. Uh, if this was a lighter snow, I probably would have blown it easily across what I, uh, I just cleaned up, but it's not. Maybe it's not so bad. Maybe I'm just going to make a couple of quick passes.
snow. Very, very heavy snow. If you can see, it's actually, and I'm banging at 2600 RPM. Maybe I gotta adjust my, my deflector on my shoe. like to park the tractor in the garage with a lot of snow on the snow blower so uh, yeah this is cold so I like to push it off less water in the garage on the floor a little bit of preventative maintenance on the snow blower and that's that's off so uh, as my brother Paul would say, this is the money shot. Not the longest of driveways, but you can see that uh, it takes some work to clean it off. Thank you for coming back to the channel and uh, hope you enjoyed watching this first snowfall video of 2019, November 12th. Uh, if you like the video, please hit likes up. If you're not a subscriber, I hope you subscribe and uh, keep making these videos.
and uh, thank you. Welcome back to the channel. If you ride off road, please make sure you wear. If you ride motorsports, open motorsports, please make sure you wear a helmet. And uh, I hope to see you on the trail. Thank you. Or in your driveway, cleaning it during a Buffalo winter.